Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Welcome back. So today I'm going to do a collab with Catherine the Paint. And um, not only is she an amazing painter, but she's also just a total sweetheart. So we're doing, we're both doing a colander pour and we're using the Artist Loft Ready Mix pouring paints and we're using the same colors, which are white, black, silver, phthalo blue, and bright blue. So we're using all the same colors and then a colander but I'm sure ours will both come out completely different. I am gonna actually try a combination of a clean pour and a dirty pour in this. I've also never used the Artist Loft Ready Mix pouring paints with a colander. So I'm gonna put some of the colors in my Lowly Vefe silicone bowl here. Links to all materials will be in the description along with, of course, the link for Catherine's video. So please, please, please definitely make sure you check out her video. I'm going to go pretty light on the black. So I'm only putting a tiny bit of paint in this bowl because, like I said, clean pour and dirty pour. We're just going to try all kinds of new things here. I am using this colander that I got from... Uh, Kim and Doveni, I think I'm now saying it, Kim and Doveni Wise. So thank you guys again for that. All right, I'm gonna start by putting some white here. So I'm gonna layer a few of the colors just straight. And then I'm gonna take my bowl and I'm gonna pour a little bit out like this and then I'm going to do some more layering of the individual colors. Now I don't know at all what this effect will have or if it will even have any particular different effect or if it'll all come out the same. It's all just an experiment and it's just plain fun. All I can hope for is that we do get something pretty cool. Alright, so there's my clean layering. Let's go back to the pour cup here and do some more of this. So normally when you do it as a dirty pour, the colors tend to blend more. However, this paint is thicker, so I'm not sure if it will really have any difference. All right. It's funny because the bright blue in this paint is definitely darker than the phthalo blue, which is kind of unusual. So it kind of looks probably black in there. I'll go ahead and put a smidge more black. I definitely don't need too much more paint. And I'm going to end it off with my dirty pour. The rest of the paint in the cup here. Cool. Okay, I'm going to let that drain for a few minutes. While it does that, I'm going to bring you guys down for a side view. You know what, actually, I want to just add just a tiny bit more paint. I'm so sorry. That was really indecisive of me. So I'm just going to do a little more of the dirty pour, adding some more to my cup. I just want to be sure I have plenty of paint there. All right, I feel more confident. <laughs> so I'm bringing down for a side view. So you can see there, it is just coming out in that really cool colander pattern. I thought about doing this one on the spinner, on the Lazy Susan, but I wanted to make it as similar to hers as possible. So the next colander pour that I do, you guys, will be upside down colander on a Lazy Susan. <laughs> Okay, at this point, I'm going to just slowly lift so the rest of the paint in there can drain out. This was sitting directly on the canvas. This colander did not have any feet or anything. So, I wasn't able to drain the last little bits by itself. Okay. Haha. <laughs> cool. Well, that's exciting. 
Okay, now we just tilt. I personally like doing these off center. I've found that if you kind of tilt back and forth towards the four corners, you can really do a decent job of maintaining the design, but I don't mind it warping a bit. So I'm gonna, I think I'll start with going back and forth on the corners and then I'm gonna just decide which way I wanna tilt it. I think I have decided. Gonna actually go back this way and have that center be off over there. I do still have some here that wasn't fully covered, so I'm gonna kind of just help that along. I may tilt towards that corner just a little bit more. Let me see if I can do that without messing up my design at all. Hmm. Gamble. I think we'll be good. Okay, just bring it back. There we go. I really like that. Love the colors here. Okay, let's let this sit for a little bit. This paint doesn't tend to change, but then we'll do our close-up. Okay, we're back for our close-up. Here we go. Not much change there. So starting on the lower right hand corner, um, it's pretty cool actually because with these colors we actually got a bit of a purple in there. You can really see it over on this side. So that's awesome. You can see that silver coming through. All of these colors went very, very nicely together. Now just so you guys know, this paint dries very glossy, so it will dry just like this. All right, guys, so please head on over to Catherine's channel and check her video out for our collab. Her link will be in the description. Show her some love and subscribe to her if you haven't already. Really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.